Today I'll be turning my Discord from this to this and with any pictures you want. So this is actually my third video on this topic but I noticed that one of them is outdated and the other one is not complete. So third time's the charm, you know? To start off, you will be needing the Discord desktop application, meaning this will not work in the browser version. But Discord PTB and Discord Canary will work with this. Next, we will be needing better Discord. Now, I should also state here that using better Discord is against Discord TOS as it modifies the client. But unless you misuse it, the chances of getting banned is relatively slim. Just simply press the install button and download the file. Once you've downloaded the installer, you just have to open it. And once you're here, just press the accept license agreement and press next. Then choose install better discord and press next. And here we will have all the discord uh, versions that you have. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using discord canary because I already have uh, better discord installed on my main discord. Then just press install and it will automatically install itself. Once it's done, it will just restart your discord if it's running or if it's not, then it will just not run. And now let's make the theme, which is what's going to be able to get the picture, like whatever picture you want to be on the background of your discord. So first go to the site, which will also be linked in the description below. And there's a chance that it could be blocked or down in your country. And if it is, I would recommend using a VPN because that should fix the problem. But if it's not, then we'll get started. So press this button and pick a template to start off. Now, not all of these templates do support custom backgrounds. So, so what I would recommend are Neutron, Frosted Glass, and Clear Vision. Neutron and Frosted Glass would be the easiest one to use, but Clear Vision has more customization options. So if we just click on this, as you can see, there's a lot of things that you can change here. However, this makes it very complicated as well. So for this tutorial, I will be using Frosted Glass. But you can use whichever one I recommend and the process would be relatively similar. So just press whichever ones you want to use. Now once you're here, you just want to find the drop down of the background image option right here. And choose from computer and press choose an image. Now go ahead and find where your file is. And as usual with backgrounds, I would recommend using the same resolution as your dis display or not higher. However, if your background is lower, like uh, this one for example so if you see from here it's actually like a bit uh, blurry what we could do is uh, we could use the blur tool to make it less uh, obvious it's kind of smoothing it out but i would still just recommend a high resolution background there are also other options here that you could try to adjust to your liking like the pop-up model image which is going to be here or the home button image which is going to be this little thing up here so as you can see it just kind of it's just there and there's window padding this is something that's ex exclusive to frosted glass and i kind of like it basically it's what uh these things around around the actual like discord as you can see it'll just make it like bigger or smaller your window size will not change but there will be like a border on the discord app which i think is kind of cool next is window roundedness this is also a frosted glass uh, only thing so you can change how round your discord is that i wouldn't recommend going that much next we have the font now you can actually just use whatever font you have a uh, bit on google fonts so you can just search you can just google like google fonts and it will come up with a bunch of fonts with, that you can pick or you can choose one that you already have installed on your computer to um, overwrite the existing uh, Discord font. So for me, I'm going to be changing it to uh, Louis George Cafe. And there you go, you can change it to whatever font you want. Next is the colors. So this is where you can change the brightness as well of whatever uh, bar you have here. So what I normally always do is this part is a bit lighter. The channel and DM brightness is a bit darker and chat is uh, brighter and the member list is gonna be darker this is just what i do know you can just try to change it to whatever you like next this is also um for some i think neutron might have this uh but basically we have gradient here so as you can see for the ping and the hashtag over here there's actually like a bit of a gradient so we can just choose to whatever color we want it to be and we also have the gradient direction so you can basically spin it around Next we have the tint which uh, basically it will just put a tint on your background here if you choose to change the brightness. Personally I think the tint can make it like cleaner because it will look a bit more of the same color and will make it less messy but uh, 
I prefer to just use the normal image. And then we have the scroll bar color, which um, by default is not that bright, but you can change it to whatever you want. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then we have the links, which is basically what these uh, messages are going to be, like what color they're going to be. So it's really whatever. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now you go to add-ons, which is going to be available for any template which is the horizontal server list on top. I don't know why you would want this, but maybe you have like a lot of servers. And then there's also the radial status, which I like to use because it just puts like the satchers around your avatar here or your profile picture. And you can also change like what colors they're going to be. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And we also have server columns, which I personally do not like. The only reason I would think to use this is if you have like a lot of Discord servers, but Personally, I do not have that much. So yeah, that's pretty much going to be everything I'm customizing on this. So once you're done here, you can change your name here, but this re this part really doesn't matter unless you have a lot of themes and you want to, you know, sort through them. But uh, yeah, once you're done, just press this download button and download the CSS file. So once you've downloaded the file, just go ahead into your Discord that you have downloaded this better Discord onto. So for me it will be discord canary so right here when you just load it it will say better discord uh, blah, blah blah just close it right so this is what your discord is going to be looking like it's going to be like very bland so what you want to do is you want to go to your user settings down here scroll all the way down to themes and press the open themes folder and doing this it should open this uh themes folder on your file so now what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and open another file explorer and here we have the CSS files. So you just wanna drag it over to the themes folder and it will automatically um, appear here. So now all I have to do is just press this little switch over here and it will turn the theme on and you will have your background. That's pretty much it. Uh, now you can just use Discord normally and better Discord will run automatically when you open Discord. Now say you want to uninstall it because maybe it's been causing lag or crashes. So it's actually very simple. All you have to do is just open a better Discord installer. So just press that, open it, press the accept uh, license agreement, press next. And over here you have uninstall better Discord. So now just press next and pick the Discord version that you want to uninstall it from and press the uninstall button and it will just uninstall itself. So it closed my Discord canary and it will restart it. Just you can just close this. And now, as you can see, Better Discord is not anymore in my Discord canary. The themes part is not there and anything. It's completely removed. So yeah, I hope this video helped. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Oh yeah, and leave a like also. I keep forgetting to say that.